this virus affects black people. It hits us more harshly than, than non-blacks. Just knowing that, that it's, if as a black person you get COVID, your chances of dying are greater than if you're a white person, that's, that's tough. That's, that is not easy to swallow. So if there is something that we can do to prevent that, and that's what this vaccine is, we've been praying for a vaccine, um, we, we, have to, we have to take it. This vaccine is how we end the racial disparities in COVID. Uh, if we vaccinate at high rates, the high rates that we should, we will start to uh, diminish our rates of infection and our rates of death. It's absolutely reasonable to have hesitation about the vaccine because there have been injustices done to our communities since this country was founded. Everybody thinks about Tuskegee. We can't allow them to harm us in the year 2021 because we're scared to get the vaccine because of the evil things they did back then, because then they win. There were over 3,000 people who were black in the Pfizer trial. They recruited our community because they wanted to show us that the vaccine was going to be effective for us. And that was very important. I actually know some people who were in the, the study uh, in the trials who, um, who I trust. <laughs> um, uh, one of them was an attorney that I, uh, you know, worked with in the past. One of the people who was uh, at the helm of the, the Pfizer vaccine trial trained with me here at Jackson Memorial Hospital, uh, Dr. Ryan Karsner. And I trust Ryan. I trust the, the career scientists and physicians at the FDA to make the right decision. These vaccines are safe, uh, beyond effective, I mean, 95% efficacy is like nothing that we have seen uh, other than the, the, the measles shot. And I think one of the other reasons why we, we uh, trust it is that every other vaccine, you get a dead or weakened virus administered. So you actually get the real virus in you, the flu vaccine, rubella, mumps, uh, you know, all of, all of the vaccines, polio, everything. With this one, there is no live virus. The vaccine, um, you know, it's a messenger RNA that they attach the message to that goes in and, you know, help us develop uh, antibodies. This messenger RNA uh, process, scientists have been working on that for decades. I mean, I went to nursing school way back when, and we talked about messenger RNA then. So that's uh, another reason why we, why we trust it. Let's just be frank here, everybody's taking it, and it's the same vaccine. We take it out of the fridge and we don't know who you are. <laughs> when you show up, one, it's taken out and thought out and, you know, there and the next person in line is the next vaccine that we pull. It's all equal here. Everybody's getting the same. Everybody's getting the best. I'm very happy that our community has the opportunity to uh, get that vaccine here, regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, or, or anything, creed, nationality. As black Americans, we have much higher rates of diabetes and high blood pressure, all the more reason for all of us to get vaccinated. What are the alternatives to not taking this vaccine? The alternatives are the potential of getting a deadly virus that you could get it and it, you might be totally fine, but you could actually give it to your mother, your sister, your brother, your neighbor, your auntie, someone, your child, and they might not be fine. And I, that's not something that I think anybody wants to live with, is uh, being the person who transmitted to COVID to their, their parents and killed them. Even if they don't die, but they're left without a limb, we've had people lose their arms, legs, fingers, they have a stroke and can no longer talk, walk, see, and it's all because you carried it to them and you had an opportunity to prevent it. I don't think I can ever do a talk and not address <laughs> the mass social distancing and, and all the safety uh, things that we need to put in place. I hear a lot of people say, you know, well, I have mask fatigue and I'm tired of the mask. We, we have to um, wear the mask, wash our hands and social distance, even with the vaccine. Because until we get a certain number, and the number I'm hearing is 80 percent of the world, of the country, of your community, being uh, vaccinated and immune, 
we, we're still going to be having this struggle because something we don't know yet, even though somebody is vaccinated and immune, you might not get the virus, but you might be able to still carry it to someone else. This vaccine is safe, it is effective, and this is our only way out of the pandemic. And I highly recommend, particularly black and brown people to get it. And white people, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>